This is the virus and spiral removal follow up video. Disabled the text comments on the original video because, frankly, I'm not here to do the work for you. So, I'm going to sh give you guys a slightly more in depth view in how to um, remove this stuff with some improvements and a couple new programs. For the programs, look at the more links link over here on both the this video and the original video I will have um, the two new pieces of software I'm going to mention Avast and hijack this as well as a link to the original video so in case this video ends up with like a thousand you know video responses that I not that I think that will happen but anyway so what you're going to want to do is first watch the original video so click on the more info link if you haven't already done uh, watch the original video and follow those directions the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to at least get a copy of hijack this and I also highly recommend uh, downloading AVAS it's free it runs on both 32 and 64 bit, bit editions of XP and if you like to smoke crack and you prefer Windows Vista, it also runs on that non-operating system as well. Now, um, the big issue w with a lot of people is that they want me to do the work for them. No. Okay. Um, if you want me to do the work for you, you're going to send me, you know, let's say, I think I charged about $120 for 90 minutes plus $25 for each additional half an hour over the phone. Um, if you really want, if you live in America and you have long distance, you can call me. Um, but you'd first have to send me a message on YouTube. And you'd have to pay by PayPal. And then I'd walk you through it. And you'd have to have a lot of patience. But you're going to have to have patience either way. So you might as well save yourself the money and do this all free and follow my directions and figure out how to look things up on the internet because that's what Google's there for that's what Yahoo's there for that's what MSN that's what Live that's what Ask Jeeves that's what all those search engines are out there for it's for you to look the stuff up everything's easy once you know how and this is a once you know how kind of video okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get hijack this and you're gonna scan your computer if of course, you've already disabled all the startup items, you hid all the Microsoft services, you disabled all the third party services, you reboot your computer, then you do the scan using Hijack This. Then you're going to print a copy of all of, of, of Hijack This, of its scan, or you're going to make a copy of Notepad, or you're going to uh, write it all down on a piece of, piece of paper with a pen or a pencil. What you're going to do is you're going to look up every single file name that is listed in Hijack This. Okay? And um, everything. Okay? EXEs, DLs, not all files have uh, end with DL or EXE extensions. Okay? You might get something that ends with like dot nine V exclamation, exclamation point, excuse me. Um, and if something ends with that, it is so a virus, dude. But anyway, um, and what you're going to do is you're going to look up every single file name. Now, the viruses come in two flavors, dynamic names and static names. Now, intelligent people are going to say, oh, I know what dynamic and static means. And hopefully only the younger people are going to be like, well, you know, I'm still in third or fourth grade. So, if you don't want that means, dynamic means it's a randomly generated file name. And if it's a randomly generated file name, um, it's a virus. Be well, hold on. If you do not find the file name on Google, Yahoo, MS MSN, or, or Ask, then delete the file. Unlock the file, delete it. Follow the directions in the first video to unlock the, the file. If it is a static name, great. Because now you have uh, a, vi uh, a virus you can reference or at least the name of the virus that you can reference. <sighs> anyway, yeah, that's my general response to most of the text comments posted. So anyway, 
what you're going to do is you're going to research each file name and determine on your own if it's a virus or not. If it takes you half an hour to look up a single file, well, here's a couple recommendations. If you have words that have n nothing to do with your search queries, like say the word uh, orange keeps coming up, add a dash orange to your search query and it'll remove the word orange from your search course. That'll help you, you know, while you're looking this up on online. So anyway, um, if you're having problems unlocking the file, let's say so, uh, when you unlock it, Windows reboots or it crashes SVC host and ends up rebooting the computer after 30 seconds, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Unlocker and manually go into every single process one by one, double click on it, go to the, the threads uh, tab, unlock the, the uh, I'm sorry, kill the individual thread. A thread, what is a thread? A thread is just the file being used by a process. And once you figure out what is crashing it, then you're going to obviously reboot, restart the computer, go in and manually do that to every single process except for the one that's crashing it. Then you're going to do it to the one that's crashing it. Quickly alt tab to the file, delete the file once it's unlocked, and even if Windows reboots, at least you unlock the file. You're going to unlock all illegitimate files, all the viruses and whatnot, without rebooting. Then you're going to reboot. You're going to check through all your list. Anything that's new added on top of your list. Anything that's changed, you want to look for changes, you want to look for the exact file names because sometimes they might change stuff around an existing, um, in existing um, entries, you're going to want to re-verify that. And only when you have verified everything, rebooted the computer, you come back and there's nothing new, then you can sit comfy on your laurels for as long as you want until you encounter the problem again. So, only post a text comment if my directions in the first video and second video combined don't help. All the software for the first video is in the first video's more info link, which is going to be like over there, just like the AVG, I'm sorry, the AVAST and Hijack This software is going to be listed there on the more info link. Um, and I will post a link to the original video so it's easy to, to find in the more, more info um, link. So anyway, get out of here. Can't ask. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you post a comment, that is a waste of my time. I will not reply. And uh, if it's um, rude to me or any other people, I will delete the comment or ban someone if it's that bad. So, thanks for watching, and good luck, and I'll see you guys around.